Welcome to this quick 12-minute vinyasa flow that will harmonize your hips and back, bringing balance and vitality. Okay, let's start up at the top of the mat in Tadasana. If you're using props, go ahead and set them up at the top of your mat. Once you find Tadasana, stay here for a nice big breath. And inhale, sweep the arms up overhead, Hasta Tadasana. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, lift halfway up, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, reverse swan dive, Hasta Tadasana. Exhale, hands come to the heart center. Let's step back with the right foot and find warrior two. Make sure that front knee is tracking over the center of the foot. Extend the arms and allow yourself to exhale here. Warrior two is excellent for the hips. It brings strength and flexibility. From here, let's move into extended side angle. Forearm crosses the thigh. Other arm sweeps up over the ear. If you'd like to intensify this, first make sure your knee is over the heel. And then, if it's available, the hand can slide down to the inside of the front foot. Turn the head to look down towards the front of your mat. If you have your blocks set up, then look at those. We're going to move into half moon balance, Ardha Chandrasana. Start to shift your weight into that right foot. The back leg floats up about hip height and find your balance. A balance is like this, work the hips and the core which of course both help a back feel healthy and strong. Good, from here, soften both knees, square off the hips, pull the thigh up towards your chest, and then gently place the foot down for Tadasana. Let's take a half sun salutation. Inhale, sweep the arms up overhead, Hasta Tadasana. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, lift halfway, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, reverse swan dive, Hasta Tadasana. Exhale, hands come to the heart center. Good. Taking the second side, step back with your right foot, finding warrior two. Again, track that front knee over the center of the front foot. Hips are square and level. Arms extend, palms down. Let the eyes look over the front fingertips. Breathe here. On your next breath, move into extended side angle. Forearm crosses the thigh. Other hand can come to your waist. You can reach it straight up to the sky or sweep it over the ear. If you want to go deeper into this pose and you know how, by all means, go for it. From here, let's take half moon balance. Turn the eyes down towards the mat, your blocks, if they're there. Shift your weight into the left leg. Let the back leg float up to hip height. Find your balance. Top arm can extend if you feel ready. Breathe here. Soften both knees. Start to square off the hips and the torso to the front of your mat. Front thigh floats upwards in front of you. And then exhale, place the foot down to find Tadasana. We'll take a full sun salutation here. On your inhale, sweep the arms up overhead, Hasta Tadasana. Exhale, fold it forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, lift halfway, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold forward. Step or float back to plank. Lower down at knees and chest or Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Cobra or Up Dog. Exhale, press back, Down Dog or Child's Pose. Stay here and breathe. On your inhale, lift the head. Exhale where you need to. I'm going to step the right foot forward to come into low lunge. Once you're settled in the hips, start to lift the chest. Now let's take a nice juicy twist in this low lunge. So on your next inhale, lift the right arm up, and then exhale, bring it to the thigh. 
Allow the chest to rotate to the right, elbow back. And then if you'd like to intensify this, bend up the back leg and reach that hand for the foot. Be mindful that the front leg stays in parallel. We don't want to roll onto the pinky edge. Keep that foot nice and flat. Good. Gently release. Find your way back to plank and take your vinyasa, lowering down knees and chest or chaturanga dandasana. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, press back, down dog or child's pose. Stay for a couple breaths. On your next inhale, lift the head. Exhale where you need to. We're going to step the left foot forward to come into low lunge. Settle into the hips and lift the chest. On your next inhale, lift the left arm up by your ear. And then exhale, twist to your left. You can bring the hand to the thigh to start. Elbow is back. And if you'd like to intensify this, bend up the back leg, reach that left hand and connect the hand to the foot. This is a beautiful quad stretch. It's also a juicy twist for the spine. So our hips and our backs are getting some much needed attention. Good. Gently release. Find your way to plank and take your vinyasa. Knees and chest or chaturanga dandasana. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, press back, down dog or child's pose. Stay here and breathe. On your next inhale, lift the head. Exhale where you need to and slide forward onto your belly. We're going to take sphinx pose. Nice juicy back bend here. Elbows are underneath the shoulders. Forearms are parallel, fingers spread and press those hands down into the mat. Shoulders roll back, lower belly is pulled up and in. Allow the lower body, your glutes and your legs to be relaxed. And with all of that, make sure you're breathing here. Good, gently release, stack the hands under your forehead. Bend the knees so the feet are floating and gently windshield wipe the legs from side to side. Bring the legs back to center, extend them long underneath you, tuck the toes, and bring the hands underneath your shoulders. Press up and back into your child's pose. Stay here and breathe. On your inhale, lift the head. Exhale where you need to. We're going to come into our resting position. So if you prefer Shavasana, by all means, move into your Shavasana. Today, I'm going to be in a seated position, taking my rest here. Once you've found your comfortable position, let your eyes close and take rest in stillness, focusing on your breath.
Start to deepen your breath. Start to energize your fingers, your hands, and your wrists. Bring the arms up by the ears, interlace the fingers, and give yourself a nice big stretch. And gently release the hands, and either bring them to prayer at the heart center, or one hand on your heart and one on your belly. Use this opportunity to check in with how you feel after this practice. How do you feel physically, mentally, emotionally? energetically, and spiritually. Now take a few moments for some gratitude. What are you grateful for in this moment and why? Thank you so much for practicing with me today. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Namaste. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. See you next time. Did you know that I have a newsletter that includes all the yoga goodness that I release every week? If you're interested in joining, check the link in the description below.